In this clip, we'll take a brief tour around a typical SharePoint team site. While all team sites have the same basic features, they're easily customized, so your team site may appear different than this one. You can break down the team site in three major sections, the header, the left navigation pane, and the page content area. In SharePoint, the header is more or less the equivalent of the menu bar. Starting on the left are site actions that offer different options depending on the user's level of permission. These actions represent what a site member would see. Next are small icons used to navigate up or to edit the page. In line with the Microsoft Office interface are tabs that replace menus and toolbars. If you're wondering why there are options to edit the page, it's because in 2010, SharePoint Team Site homepages are designed as a wiki page meaning that those with proper permission levels can modify this page, but more on that later. Directly underneath, you'll notice the name of the site, which is linked to its home page. This is important because, as you'll see, it will always lead you back to your starting place, using what I'll call breadcrumb navigation. For instance, clicking on the calendar link displays the calendar and provides a breadcrumb back to the home page, which is called training portal in this example. Speaking of links, most sites will include some type of navigation bar here in the header. In our example, there are links to other team sites featured here. Continuing with our tour, you'll see the name of the person currently logged in at the far right end of the header. There's a menu connected to this name with a few choices as well. Below the name are two buttons related to what are called tags, which are used to bookmark the page as you like or want to recommend to others. I like it is a tag that's ready to use. The Tags and Notes button is where you would go to make your own new tags and notes or comments that you can leave publicly. We'll take a more detailed look at the social networking features in SharePoint in later clips. Near the Tag buttons is a search box to look for content on this or other team sites. The left navigation pane gives you quick access to the standard features, including document libraries, lists, and discussion boards and of course will be customized with different links over time. Notice the recycle bin at the bottom of the navigation pane. Content deleted by site members is saved here where it can be restored up to 30 days after it was deleted. Finally is the page content area which is where the content of the specific page displays. Most of the options for working with content are controlled by the ribbon in the header. In separate clips, we'll show you how to use it and other tools and features here in SharePoint 2010.